Sure, Baba. Sad math question. Okay, let's go to the question. In the XY plane, the graph of the equation y equals to negative x squared plus 2 9x negative 100 intersects a line y equal to c at exactly one point. What is the value of c? Okay, so to find the point of intersection, what we need to do is we have to solve uh, the given two equations. So for that, uh, we can write y equals to y because I find y uh, in both the equations because both the equations are, are solved for y, y equals to y. So for the y on the left side, I'm taking the stuff from the first equation that is uh, negative x squared, positive 9x, negative 100. And for the y on the right side, I'm taking, I'm going to take the stuff from the second equation that is c. Okay, c. Okay, actually now we got a quadratic equation in the variable x. So let's get the quadratic equation standard form that is uh, ax squared positive bx positive c is equal to zero. So standard form means we have to get zero on the right side. So for that we have to get uh, this value c. So I subtract c from both sides. So when I do so, I'm getting uh, the c negative c will cancel out. I'm getting negative x squared positive 9x negative 100 negative c equals to zero. Okay, here uh, the leading coefficient, I mean the coefficient of x squared is uh, negative one. So better we can uh, convert this one to pass one. For that, I have to multiply both sides by negative one. So let me multiply both sides of this equation by uh, negative one. So let me do it negative one times zero. So now we can distribute this negative one to negative x squared. That is negative times negative will become positive. One times x squared is x squared. Negative times positive will become negative. One times sine x is nine x. Negative times negative will become positive uh, one times 100 as 100 and positive c and negative one times zero is still zero. Okay, now uh, this quadratic equation is in standard form that is in the form of ax square positive bx and uh, positive c. Okay, now let's compare these two and let's write the value of a, b and c. So a is the coefficient of x square over here. So what is the coefficient of x square over here? We don't find any number in front of x square. So I have to assume there is one. So the value of a here is one and uh, what is the value of b so b is uh, the coefficient of x here the coefficient of x is negative nine so b is equal to negative nine c is a constant at the place of constant we have uh, 100 positive c okay so here actually i got this quadratic equation by solving the first equation and second equation and also the question says uh, so the parabola or i mean uh, the graph of the first equation the graph of the second equation uh, intersect exactly one point. So the quadratic equation which I get by solving the two equations will have only one solution because uh, the graphs of the given two equations intersect at only one point. So this quadratic equation over here will have only one solution. Okay, if the quadratic equation over here has only one solution, then the discriminant uh, of this quadratic equation uh, must be equal to zero. What is discriminant? When a quadratic equation is uh, written in the standard form, that is ax squared plus bx plus c equals to zero, the discriminant is uh, b squared negative 4ac. So if the quadratic equation has only one solution, then the value of this discriminant must be equal to zero. So uh, according to the question, the quadratic equation we got by solving the first equation, second equation must have only one solution because uh, the given, the graphs of the uh, given two equations intersect at only one point. So since uh, the, the quadratic equation must have only one solution, the discriminant of this quadratic equation must be equal to zero. So to get the value of the discriminant for this quadratic equation, we have to plug in the values for B, A, C uh, from the equation. Already we got the values of A, B, C from the equation. It's over here. So now we can plug in. Uh, so for this B, we can plug in negative nine. So we get negative nine, the whole square, negative four times. So for A, we have one. And for this C, we have 100 positive C. Okay, let's simplify this one. So negative nine whole square will become 81. Negative four times one is uh, four. Uh, so we get four times 100 positive C equals to zero. Okay, 81. Now we can distribute this negative four to 100. I'm getting negative 400. And negative four to C, it will become negative four C equals to zero. Okay, now when I combine uh, 81 and negative 400, I'm getting a uh, negative 300. 19 negative 4c equals to 0. Okay, to, so, to solve for c, we have to isolate c. First, let me get rid of this negative 319. For that, I have to add 319 to both sides. So when I add 319 to both sides, so this one, this one will cancel out. I get negative 4c is equal to uh, positive 319. So I divide both sides by negative 4 to solve for c. So this negative 4, negative 4 will cancel out. So finally, I'm getting c is equal to, this negative can be taken uh, along with the 319, now I'm getting negative 319 over 4. So the value of C 
is a negative 319 over 4. I find negative 319 over 4 in option C. So the correct answer choice for this question is option C.